he will not go on the machine. Bing Crosby, I'm making his dreams come true. This used to be a John Deere. That is with the door shut. And that is what we call the big thaw. Whoa. He was almost gone, so I ended up putting him down. guys after all the years that we have lived here that I've lived here and even Mark said even since he's lived here he has never seen a storm like we uh, started getting yesterday it's I think they're calling for three days of this Carissa got landlocked last night she actually got stuck on her way home from milking cows last night at her neighbors so she's with them she's probably with them all weekend because I don't even know if she can get home and she lives just down the road and the temps did drop yesterday so uh, today will likely be the same as yesterday, just keep making sure everybody has water, everybody's uh, bedded up and dry as good as we can get. The whole north side of this barn, the sheep are covered in snow. This barn isn't insulated and it's also not like airtight at all. The curtains are smashing back and forth so the snow just keeps blowing in every time the curtain kind of smashes so. Junior's doing amazing. Once the temps kind of pick up here this week uh, I'll be able to transfer her hopefully onto the milk machine with those other two lambs that we put in yesterday. We are just gonna plug away here and uh, conquer the storm, hunker down for Christmas. All the kids are home so that's all I care about. We don't have to go anywhere and no one has to get here so Carissa I told her you're not coming until it's safe to do so. I can hold down the fort, I guess, for a few days. It's my little cutie here. Good morning guys, it is Christmas day, bright and early. Not bright, just early. I did my best to vlog yesterday and I'm like, <laughs> not gonna happen. It is, uh, it's bad. Like, motorists have been uh, knocking on people's doors to stay for the night because they, you get stuck in the middle of the road. We've had trucks just around the corner here. A tow truck got stuck, a feed truck got stuck. Uh, my in-laws are, they have staff that they need and they've been picking them up and taking them home with tractors. So yeah, we're all just making do. Mark spent all morning clearing snow as I was trying to get these guys fed so the barn wouldn't freeze any more than it did. Currently sitting at minus four and it was minus like seven or minus nine yesterday. So 
Uh, it's much better in there today. So this little nugget's doing good. We're feeding at four, eight, noon, four, and eight again. So it's, which is fine because I've had to come out and actually thaw these milk lines um, every four hours as well. So I just book it at the same, but at least the barn is warming up. If it's four right now, as soon as the sun comes out, it sh we should get much warmer today. And then I might not have to come and thaw those hoses, which would be great. We don't know who we're gonna see or what we're gonna do today because it's still a uh, blizzard outside and all the roads are closed. Yeah, she's a full on blizzard the last two days. Not that it looks like it, but it's a heck of an improvement as to what it was the last couple days. I could not see, I probably couldn't even see that evergreen kind of right there yesterday. And uh, I got pretty much full visibility right now. I am, it concerns me a bit. I'm wondering if the wind is gonna switch and come out of the north because it's been coming directly out of the south and blasting our yard for sure. We used to have a truck here. Uh, so Mark's been trying to dig out every single day. Oh, there's the wind. Oof. But um, it fills in as quick as he can move it. So he's just going to do our main yard area. I might even help him with the telehandler this morning. Uh, I'll get the sheep fed, everything thawed, go in, have Christmas with the kids, and then we'll kind of finish up and uh, he'll finish cleaning the yards this afternoon. And then I'll probably keep going back out to the barn to check make sure stuff doesn't freeze. Bing Crosby, I'm making his dreams come true. It's a lot of snow. Oh, you hungry already? Just fed you. Always hungry. This door, there's just like snow lodged in the corners. I couldn't get the door shut tight all the way across. It's a big door. So a bunch of snow blew in. So what I did, I just used it as insulation. It worked really good. There's like no draft coming out anymore. Because it was bad yesterday. And it was the first day we had to do this, which is depressing. This is like, welcome to the rest of my winter. Poor old girl, she didn't want to start yesterday, but she did.
All right, well, we got uh, round one of chores done. So feeding is done, lambs are fed, everyone's bedded. I think I might um, bed the north side here after breakfast. Yeah, and I think after breakfast I'll do chores across the road, check on the Golden Girls, and uh, yeah, just finish up anything in here that's pressing. But yeah, we'll be doing just the bare minimum uh, flock management today and uh, just have some family time, I think. annual Prosecco popping. I haven't had coffee yet. So we still have not even opened our gifts yet, but I had to get chores done across the road here. I want to show you the old bank barn where our beef cows used to be and uh, where the Golden Girls are now. It's really quite pretty, but it's also very white. Very, very white. Everything is so white. Yeah. We're not real tight in here. Got some leaky boards, I think. Yeah, a lot of snow. I think this is the most snow I've ever seen in this barn, ever. This used to be a John Deere. But here's the ladies. How are you doing, Billy's mom? Hmm? So I punched the water bowl for them, so they got water there. And they've got grain, and they've got hay in the corner in the feeder. And actually, their bedding back there is really nice, but yeah. That is with the door shut. That's how much snow got in there. I want to show you how they're living back here. It's pretty lovely. Hello, Marge. So yeah, it's nice back here. So they'll stay in here uh, for a few days just until this nasty weather's done. And then I can let them out and they can go back outside because they have wool. They don't mind this, but I just didn't want the wind blowing blowing all the snow right into where the only dry area they have to sleep in. So yeah, they're just going to be locked in here for another day or two. There you go, ma'am. Thank you. There you go, that's all. And oh, she's like, what's for me? One of those are for Jack. Chocolates? Stink stick maybe. Or that's for me. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry guys, I left my camera in the house. I am so tired. I just want to curl up on the couch and go to bed. But we actually had mom, uh, Mark's mom and her husband over for breakfast this morning or brunch, I guess. Uh, and then I had to run back out, finish chores and get this little nugget fed. Um, and then at four, I came back out. Same thing. Make sure what milk lines are thawed, which they were, which is awesome. And um feed nugget again and now it's like eight o'clock and my lines actually are still thawed which is amazing and she's drinking really good so it's not taking me very long um but yeah it's gonna be nice to have carissa back tomorrow anyway christmas was wonderful amazing i got spoiled by mark and the kids as usual and uh, we just had i don't think we open presents till like two in the afternoon today so it's it's a different year 
uh, being storm stayed and dealing with chores and snow before, uh, before we can do a whole lot in the house. But it's nice having older kids. They don't really care. Anyway, these two are either loving each other or hating each other. I haven't decided what yet. Happy New Year! It is actually the 1st of January. Uh, this will be the first of many days that I'm going to screw up a date. Uh, it'll be 2022 for the next six months and then I'll finally realize it's 2023. Wow, it's been a week since I've held this in my hand. This meaning you guys, my camera. And uh, I'm not going to lie, uh, it was hard to pick up the camera again this morning. I'm really tired. Uh, and sometimes I'm just like, I'm struggling to figure out, you know, it's a new year. What should I change? How, you know, how do I make this new and interesting? And to be perfectly honest, there's no way of making this new and different because my life is pretty routine and pretty, pretty much the same day to day. The only things that change are these little guys. And do you think they've grown in a week? I certainly feel like they have. <laughs> Um, yeah, it is New Year's Day. I do confess that I was in bed by 9 o'clock last night. Uh, Mark and I did have a nice supper, just the two of us, had a couple cocktails. Uh, I gave Carissa yesterday and today off. She has been, she's been working non-stop between my farm and the other farm that she was off and she, she asked for this weekend off because she actually has plans. There was a day when I used to do stuff on New Year's Eve, but man, my head is thanking me today for not partaking. So yeah, we're just gonna get on with chores. There's a few things I need to do. A little update on our bottle lamb. You can hear her. So the last time you saw us, I believe was like Christmas day and she was only about three days old or so, something like that or four days old maybe. Um, and it was so cold in the barn that I didn't want to put her out here with these guys. I think they had their jackets on a week ago um, because she'd just go backwards. She's small. Um, I had to feed her quite often because she wasn't drinking very much. We finally were able to introduce her to this system. I think Wednesday it started to warm up, but by then she is so addicted to the bottle and to me being the one feeding her that she will not go on the machine. So we've tried and I'm, I'm forced to try some trickery. So I've been like feeding through the hole and feeding right beside the other nipple standing there so she just thinks the other nipple is the right nipple like we've tried everything and some lambs you're just never gonna get anywhere because they're just so used to only um they're just used to how they were being fed so we've got her down to she's drinking full bottles now um i'm feeding her at six noon and six she's getting enough i don't like glutting them like that like i, I would rather smaller amounts all day long but i am not the nanny and uh i really want her I want to give her long enough stretches that if she gets desperate and old enough, she might be smart enough to get on this thing. But right now, she's just... Like, she's going to end up taking off my hose just from her little feet. Don't do that! It's right... It's literally right here. It's right there. You know where it is. Anyways. That's all you've missed in that department. Bottle lamps are doing really well. In their new little area. Oh, I know what I want to tell you guys. So we did have a, an unfortunate event over the holidays. Um, Billy's brother, who we've all come to know and love. I have loved him. He's such a quiet, gentle little soul. Uh, very much like Billy. Um, they aren't pure brothers. They're, I think they just have, I think William's their dad, but I don't know that he might not be. But Rex was here scanning sheep and he caught an eye and he's like, he's not gonna make it. I'm like, I know, I've been just treating him and 
keeping my fingers crossed and he's like e. so uh, yeah I came into the barn I can't remember what morning and uh, he was he was almost gone so I ended up putting him down and um, yeah it was sad and I just I didn't I, ju I didn't have my camera with me and it was just one of those days I'm like now I don't feel like sharing this today I just want to like grieve him and get chores done and cope with this weather because the weather's been brutal you would never know because it's totally melted now but anyway so that's that was an unfortunate event in the barn over the holidays um, he's out of pain now though so that gives me a little bit of solace hard to believe this was all snow like a week ago now it's just wet and muddy and grotesque hey eh? whoa and that is what we call the big thaw that goes across three farms worth of fields <laughs> this was covered in snow a week ago <laughs> hi tomatoes Whoa. Good morning. Happy New Year, ladies. So we did open everything up for them again, and uh, yeah, everything's kind of thawed out. This was like worst case scenario. I've never seen the snow blow that far in here, because we are pretty sheltered. We've got like bales all basically the length of the barn there, and they do have a ceiling here. It's like a loft up here. So they are protected from all winter all on this side, but they are definitely not protected from winter blowing in there and winter blowing in, well, most especially that. Do you want some food? Yeah. Sounds like someone else is hungry, so I better go. I thought, well, uh, it was quiet. Sorry, the fan's loud, but the lambs are quiet. Um, I talked a little bit about what you guys missed. Uh, I think I had it on Instagram actually. Boxing Day I always go see, we always go see my family who lives a bit of a hike away. Um, and right when I was finishing chores, I came over to this barn with Carissa and I could see from the far end that this line had blew because it was frozen at that tap. And the tap just exploded once uh, everything kind of thawed out here on Boxing Day. It was starting to, this barn was getting warmer. So this whole area was just flooded and I'm like, oh my God, like I could not, we can't get rid of this manure. So I'm like, what am I going to do? Thankfully, if you remember, we don't have as many lambs on this side. So I was able to split the pen in half and put them to the front. So I did that for about four or five days. I opened it up a couple days ago because this had all soaked up. So what we have to do every day is just bed the top to make sure it just stays dry for them. But this will need cleaned as soon as, uh, now everything's too, too wet and too muddy. We can't get into a field to take this manure to stockpile. So um, what we're gonna do is probably when everything freezes, if it freezes and there's still no snow, that would be ideal because then we can take this to the field where we're gonna stockpile. Uh, like a, it'll be a wheat field that we wanna spread it on in August. So, so we wait, but um, thankfully the side isn't very big. Um, and all the water had soaked up, but it's pretty moist, so you still have to keep up with bedding every day. But that's the best we can do. I didn't want them kind of crammed to that front half for too, too long. It was okay for a few days, but uh, I'm glad they have the whole pen now just to spread out. The other thing we noticed is this curtain. Uh, we had all the curtains like right up because this barn was so frozen. Well, it's caught, or the cable's jammed in, in behind the pulley. So I think yet today, I'm gonna to come over with a drill and take off that pulley and get the cable loosened off and get that curtain fixed before our next, uh, uh, before the next time we have to tighten it up again. So always a few things that uh, winter catches you off guard and, and you make do and then you gotta take all the time you have to get stuff good again before the next blast. One thing I didn't do after she was born was actually tag her because I wasn't sure if she'd make it out of the woods or not. 
So she did. All her data is already in here. I, uh, instead of actually giving her an RFID tag, I think I just named her Lucky, because I think Lucky's her dad. I think I spelt it wrong. I actually think it ended up being Lucy, and I just left it, because I'm like, ah, close enough. Okay, let's see. Come here, bud. You have a lot to say. You have a lot to say. Very obedient. Stop. 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 You're a monkey. Maybe this will make you not like me as much. There you go. Little wiggle worm. A bottle now, would ya? It's a little early. I'm gonna try and train you on the machine again. Problem is, I never know how much they're drinking, so I'm gonna try to mark. I'm gonna empty this out, and then I kind of know where we're starting at. Okay. You are wreck it real. Okay. See how much you drink, okay? Not this, this time. So let's try and drink like a real lamb. Okay. She's on it really good. But I don't know if she's on it just because I'm standing here. So I don't want anyone else really on it right now because I'm measuring how much she's drinking. So what might have to happen is I might just have to come and instead of feeding it a bottle, I just might have to stand here like this and just make sure she drinks. I think she's good. This is what has happened. This guy is lodged in between the pulley and the clamp. So I brought an assortment of ratchets to go on this and take this off. I'm hoping it's a half inch, but I could be wrong. See if I can just split this so I can let this out. It's always good to start the new year out with something I actually fixed right. So yeah, we are all even now. Yay! So Christmas is over and I don't do real well with the end of Christmas because um, I love it so much. I look forward to Christmas. I look forward to Vlogmas. Vlogmas almost killed me. I'm really tired. So uh, taking this past week off somewhat, I still uploaded videos, um, was really what the doctor ordered. So I'm kind of glad he did that. But I think it's time to take down the sheepishly me Christmas tree, which makes me very sad because that means Christmas is over. <laughs> oh well, it comes back real quick. <laughs>